Hey chili heads, welcome back to Red or Green. I have just finished up making some guacamole because we are going to make some carnitas today. And if you've ever had carnitas, it's basically pork that is cooked in its own fat. Some people actually like to add coke in their carnitas, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm actually going to use some orange juice because I think that it kind of takes away from the flavor a little bit if you use too much sugar. We're also gonna add a little bit of New Mexican spice in there because, you know, this is a New Mexican channel. We're gonna cook it today a little bit differently. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Instant Pot today. With pork, if you cook it in on high pressure, it tenderizes beautifully. So we're gonna kind of reverse the process, but then we're going to cook it in its own fat and brown it up just right. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Hit post notifications. That way whenever we release a new video, you get notified right away. And if, if you want to see any specific dishes on the channel, let us know in the comments and we'll do our best to get it on the channel in the future. All right, I think we have everything we need here, so let's get to it. So we're going to start by cutting the pork roast in half. Next, we're going to salt both sides of the pork roast. I'm using pork shoulder roast here because it's the best roast to bring out the flavor in the carnitas. Now I'm going to put them in my instant pot and I'm going to add half a cup to one cup of orange juice, two bay leaves, one teaspoon of Mexican oregano, one teaspoon of black pepper, three garlic cloves, and I've cut them in half. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of green chili powder, and I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to buy this green chili powder for yourself. Now, I'm going to cook this on high pressure for about two hours, and the meat is going to be super tender. Once the meat is cooked and has cooled off a little bit, I'm going to remove it from the Instant Pot and cut it into large chunks. I'm going to add some of our rendered pork fat. I bought this from a carniceria, but I'm going to add it to my cast iron pan. And next we're going to add our chunks of pork. And we're going to cook the meat until it's brown on all sides and crispy. I'm serving my carnitas today with some guacamole, my signature salsa, and salsa verde along with some lime wedges, and we're going to make tacos out of these. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this Instant Pot recipe, and if you try it, tag me on Instagram. Enjoy! Enjoy! 